It's either one day or day one. My name is Aaron Brimhall, and I'm a photographer, athlete, and father. Although I'm known for my art, I'd rather be defined by my mentality. All right, hit it. And if I could give any advice, it's that consistency beats talent every time. So whether I'm training to bike across the country or out shooting my next campaign, my mindset always stays the same. You decide. Today we want to talk about sound effects and sound design because that is ultimately the easiest thing that you can do to set you apart from other creators and to make your video stand out even more. And to demonstrate this, here is the exact same video from the beginning without any sound effects added at all. So you can really see the importance of sound design. It's either one day or day one. My name is Aaron Brimhall and I'm a photographer, athlete and father. Although I'm known for my art, I'd rather be defined by my mentality. All right, hit it. And if I could give any advice, it's that consistency beats talent every time. So whether I'm training to bike across the country or out shooting my next campaign, my mindset always stays the same. You decide. As you can tell, sound effects obviously do make a huge difference. And this right here is the final timeline of the video that you've just watched. The first major tip I want to give you when you want to do sound design is always make sure to add those tiny little fades to the beginning and the end of a clip. You can see I've missed some here because this not only helps to keep your video and the audio flowing super nicely, but it also prevents those harsh pops when the audio suddenly starts and stops. You can either use those fading handles at the top and then fine tune them the way you want them to, to sound. Or what you can do is if we right click on the end of the clip, you can add cross dissolve or cross fades to the audio, which helps to keep everything flowing so much more nicely. So the second major tip that I want to give you is stack sound effects on top of each other. If you take a look at this scene right here, I could have obviously just used one retro or analog TV sound effect. However, I've gone with a G-tone ringing sound effect glitchy, a A-tone ringing long attack sound effect, a tonal riser, a TV sound effect and a analog TV calibrating channel electrostatic interference sound effect. Also an angry robot sound effect, which basically has nothing to do with this at all, but I think it just fits the scene. So you don't always have to find the perfect sound effects just find something that fits your scene. So now that you know the importance of sound design, let's hear a quick word from today's sponsor, which is Envato Elements. Envato Elements is the one-stop shop for every video creator with over 10 million assets and new assets being added every single week. You get unlimited downloads, whether you need sound effects, music, stock videos, stock photos, motion graphic templates, the Vinci Resolve templates, and the best part is everything is covered from personal to commercial use. And what's even better is that you can get this deal right now for 50% off until Monday the 28th, coming down to only 825 US dollars a month. So you better not miss this crazy deal. Go to the link in the description, head over to Envato Elements and start create better videos right now. So tip number three is to have different audio levels for all your sound effects because you don't want to have all the sound effects at the exact same loudness within a scene. If we again take a look at this scene right here, you can see that the voiceover is set to 2.13. Um, then this sound effect right here, which is a G-tone ringing, is set to minus 29. This one is set to minus 28. This one is set to minus 25. The other one is set to minus 48. This one right here is set to minus five and this one right here is set to minus 14. So this just helps to blend everything in a little bit more nicely and you don't want to drive the attention to all the sound effects at once. You want to have the attention on one sound effects but then additional sound effects to emphasize the sound that you want to drive the attention to. So now let's talk about my two best kept secrets when it comes to sound design and those are the effects that I use. So if I'm going to select the whoosh effect right here I always add a low pass filter and a reverb effect to my audio as you can tell by looking at down here. Again, reverb and low pass filter. Sometimes I only go with reverb or low pass depending on what sounds better. It's just a matter of playing around and the best part is um, if we go to the effects library in the top left corner, AU effects, 
and then drag in the low pass filter um, right on this one right here. Then you can play this back to listen how that sounds and instantly play around with this dot right here to cut out the frequencies that you want to cut out. And using the low pass filter and the reverb filter has made such a big difference in sound designing for me. Use those two effects and you will see how far that goes by sound designing your own project. And the last tip that I want to give you is to play around with the pan slider in the audio tab in the inspector. And what the pan slider does is if you're using headphones like these or you're having high quality speakers, that if I'm going to drag the pan effect to the left side, you can hear that the audio is only coming in from the left side of the ear. If we continue this and the car passes out of the right side of the frame right here, again, it goes out of frame until we're all the way at the right side. So that is one simple tip. And what I've done is I've also added a couple of keyframes. And that is just due to the fact that the car right here is a little bit more far away. And once it's coming closer to the viewer, I increase the loudness so that it makes the car actually sounding that it's coming towards you. And then once it leaves the frame, the loudness goes down again, because it just doesn't stop behind leaving the frame. It keeps on driving, or at least that's what we're thinking. So we have to decrease the loudness once again. So now go ahead, play around with some sound design techniques that I've just shown you. And I promise you this will make a huge difference on your own projects. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this sound design breakdown and some of the sound design tips that I gave you. And if you want to create better videos faster using sound effects, make sure to click the link in the description, head over to Envato Elements and sign up. Still 50% off until Monday the 28th. And with that being said, hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye.